and today I bring in the meeting now. Now, if you guys are doing hosting events from online and you want to make sure you want to capture the room and you want to capture every the environment, this is probably the camera for you. So this is the quality is not 100 percent good, but it captures a 360 of the actual room and it actually captures our, the presented. So whoever's talking, the camera rotates from place to place. So we're going to put this to the test and see how well it works. But first of all, let's open it up and see what you get when you purchase up this. So let's open it up. All right, so they give you the owl, and the reason they call it the owl is because when it turns on, the two lights turn on. It looks like two eyes in here. This one has a actual button in here, and it's hard to see because this is a black version, and it kind of doesn't reflect too much on there. So right now you have a button here, which it turns off the camera itself. And the back of it, if you guys can see it, there's a power button here on the corner on one of the sides. Um, and then there's an audio, of course, because the whole thing is a speaker too. So they're going to be able to hear some of the stuff and you're going to, your rep and your people are going to be able to hear you because the mics are pretty good on here. Now the camera itself, it's an oval camera. If you guys can see a lot of this technology, it's to capture the entire room of the location, but you lose a lot of the quality of it. The next version of this one actually not even have the 4k yet either. So, um, it's hard to distinguish on, on some of the, um, of, of the, the things that you purchase until you actually start using them so that's why we're going to put it to use today and see if it works for your department or if you're going to be conducting the stuff now the, it does require power all right there is uh, no way around it it's, you plug it in underneath here and it's it's it has a little uh a, a niche right here a little indentation here there where you, the cable actually draws from so you do provide you need power of course then you're going to need a usb micro usb on this one it's not type c you plug it in and both of them come out so you could have this actually hang somewhere in a place and they do have attachment where it actually sits on a tripod but unfortunately i don't have that here um you're gonna have to purchase that part they do sell it uh, right now it's pretty much sit on it this is rubber ends where it's gonna sit somewhere and there is no other things that you can do other than the connections are a little difficult to get through but once you get that you should be up and running now the hardest part of this thing putting together is that it does require power and it does require a network. Now this cable is about seven to six feet long. Uh, this one too. Uh, um, the power in the in, in this plug into your computer it's a hassle. I wish it was just one cable for all, but unfortunately it's not there yet. And the Type C next version, of course, it's going to be bad there. But today we're working with this one, and we're going to see what it can do, and if it's even worth it. So let's take a look. You guys see it? Um, the logo is right in the corner. They add the logo right in the corner too. I like about the camera that if you talk and you move on this side or hello this way, the camera kind of follows you. It's a directional following. Um, if I do this, and I'm gonna start walking around it, see how well it works. I'm gonna block some of the stuff out. Testing one, two, three, I'm on the right. Testing one, two, three, I'm on the left. And now we're gonna come back here and sit down right in front of it. So you have to have like three people sitting together and I'm gonna bring one more person in in the camera so you guys can take a look at it and see how well it works. Now the features itself is pretty outstanding. You know, it has these owl eyes all around it. I'm looking at it. Let's see if I could turn it around. It's pretty much on this end. It goes all around. Now there is a camera button. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, that's volume, I think. Testing, one, two, three. Let's see if I can have the camera. Oh, that's volume. Let's go ahead and turn off the camera. Audio off. Oh, that's pretty much the audio right there. Audio on. Um, camera wise. Test, test, test. Okay. Camera wise. Let's go get okay, bring somebody out here so we can do the testing. All right, like right now it's divided into two pieces because the system recognizes, and I'm about like two foot away, it'll be kind of like a conference room, and I'm gonna let nobody count to 20 and maybe clap at the same time. So the system could recognize you. I'm just gonna let her not clap, but just pretty much count down to 20. Go ahead, nobody. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, just to let you know, I'm going to have her stand on this side, on the right-hand side, and go ahead and stand on the right-hand side. Just kneel down a little bit. 
directional and say something though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at that. I have Lie Nova going to demo some stuff for us and she's sitting right behind the camera and she's going to start talking. Go ahead and start talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Now nine. it, it changed towards her now, the directional, and go ahead and talk at the same time. Go ahead and keep counting. Keep counting. One, two, three, and four, we're going to continue five, talking six, like if seven, we're having a eight, discussion. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. You got to get louder 16, than that. Okay, now she's talking. Keep 17, going. Like, 18, clap, clap, clap. 19. Keep clapping, and now we're going to divide, see if we could get that division of it, and go ahead. The system doesn't recognize it. Okay, get closer, a little bit closer. All right, start clapping. Okay, now, here we go, dividing the, the division. Now, nobody needed to step up a couple of minutes and say something. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, She's counting to 10 right now, and the eight, system is, nine, she's ten, across seven, from me four, right now, 13, and we're both 14, talking 15, at the same 16, time. 17, and we're going to see the 18, audio and 19, see how well it works with it. But this is a great feature One, to have if you have a two, whole room and people are three, talking about it. Four, the only thing, five, okay, you can stop talking. The only thing that we have to be a couple feet away from this thing, uh, at least two foot away. So it'll be pretty much a conference room table. She's sitting there. I'm sitting over here. The system recognizes her. We have a 360, a whole room itself on top of it. And um, if she wants, she could just take over by clapping a couple of times. Go ahead and clap. Didn't work. <laughs> but it recognizes that she's there and she can move around across the whole room and talk too. But she needs to be in two foot away from it. Say something now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, move back. Eight. So nobody just started moving left to right, and the system automatically tracks where she goes. In a conference room, this is a great feature if you have somebody walking around. But they have to be close by the camera, that's the only fall back on it. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So the system is not 100% well, but this system pretty wor works pretty much in a conference room. That's what it's made for. Now, the only thing is you have to block some of the sound because the system recognizes the other features, of course, on the room itself. So one of the things that you want to block out is, is that you have a nice surrounding area where the uh, with the actual sound is going to echo back into the system. This will make it a more successful connection to the system. Now, I don't recommend you using the actual audio mic in here. It's pretty poor, as you can see. But what I recommend you is have multiple mics setting up to the system if you're going to live stream a, a media conference room. And this will work a, a perfect environment. Now, there's no hiding anybody, of course, on the 360. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it out here. I don't want you to see my mess in here. So I'm just doing it for demo purposes and for audio purposes. And if it's worth buying it for you guys on your next meeting, this is probably something that will work for you guys on the next one. So if you have any questions or any comments, Hit me up below and make sure you guys subscribe and help the channel out. If you and like I said, hit me up with any questions or any comments and you want to see more demos of this. We are gonna start using this more often and I'm gonna have more videos on this uh, how successfully it worked or where it failed. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and I'm out.